Once you've built the different workflows that you need for your Confluence documents or pages, there are several ways that you and your teams can add these to the pages. In this video, I'll show you how to manually add workflows to individual pages, but I'll also walk you through the ways to automate this process and apply workflows to different pages based on specific conditions. For example, you might want a workflow to automatically apply to all pages in a certain space, or pages that have a specific label attached, which is awesome if you're using Confluence templates. And finally, we'll go through how to apply a workflow to multiple pages in one go. All of these scenarios are made super easy by Workflows for Confluence, so let's get started. First, we'll cover the most common use case, adding workflows to individual pages. This is a manual process and can be done by all Confluence users, unless you have adjusted the permissions on who can add workflows to certain pages. This configuration option is available to admins in the global settings for workflows. So, to add a workflow to an individual page, you first need to make sure that the workflow is enabled. So to get to the workflows table, we're going to access the Confluence global settings in the top right corner. Next, click through to workflows on the left, and this will open the workflows table. Now here you can see all of your workflows and you just need to make sure that the workflow that you want to add to a page is enabled using the toggle in this column here. Next, we need to access the page that we want to add the workflow to. So we'll start by clicking through to the page and when you're on the page, you just need to click the apply workflow option at the top of the screen. When you click this, just follow the prompt to apply a workflow and this will bring up a full list of all the workflows that you have available at a global level, but also a space level. In this example, I'll select the general management approval workflow and then just click apply. Once the page is refreshed, you'll notice that the status at the top of the screen has now changed to draft. And this is the first status in this workflow. And that is job done. We've added a workflow to an individual page. So that's the manual process of adding a workflow. And as you can see, it's pretty quick and it's pretty easy to do. But next, we're going to talk about how you can automate the process. So there are two ways of automatically applying workflows to pages. First, you can apply workflows automatically to pages upon page creation, which is particularly useful if you're using templates in your team, you can standardize the process and make it a bit easier for them so when they create the page using a template, the right workflow is applied straight away. The second way of applying workflows automatically is to apply them to existing pages in bulk. Now this is great if you have lots of different pages in your Confluence instance and you want to apply workflows to a number of them in one go then you can do this using a Confluence query language setting. Then you can easily do this using Workflows for Confluence. So we'll start with the first method, which is adding workflows to new pages. And this is made possible using the auto assign feature, which is available in the global admin setting for workflows. So we'll start by jumping back into the global admin settings and then clicking into the configuration settings on the left-hand side. And then from these options, you just need to select the auto assign option here. Now auto assign is a really powerful feature and you can choose which pages have workflows assigned to them using Confluence Query Language or CQL. There are a bunch of CQL queries that we support in Workflows of Confluence, and these are all listed in our documentation. But these include space, parent, ancestor, creator, label, and page title. In this example, we're just gonna show you the label CQL query in use, and this has been added to a template as well. So once the template is used, it automatically has the label development team added to it, and then this workflow will automatically be applied to those pages using that template. It's worth noting that depending on the size of your Confluence instance, it may take a few minutes for the auto-assign mapping to take effect and for the workflow to be applied to your page. So now that we've completed this, let's hop back to a, a space and create a new page using a template. So now that we're back in the space, let's create a page using a template. So I'll click Create at the top here. From the templates, I'm going to use the development team template here. Now this automatically has the label attached to it. I'll just give this a title and click publish. And now that we've clicked publish, you'll see at the top of the screen that the workflow has automatically been applied to this page using the SQL query that we set up earlier and the auto assigned feature. So that's the first way that you can add workflows automatically to pages. And this is for new pages as you've seen. The second way is adding it to existing pages. So let's say, for example, we want to add the workflow to all of the pages in this space. To do that, we just need to go back to the configuration settings, navigate to bulk change this time in the top, and here you'll see a CQL field and a workflow as well. So here I just need to add space equals PP for Project Phoenix 
you can see that the CQL query is valid and it tells us that this will affect 17 pages. So from the drop-down list here, I'm just going to choose the general management approval workflow. And then you just need to select execute here and this will apply the bulk change. And there we go, job done. That is how you automatically apply workflows to pages in bulk. And there we have it. That's a quick run through of the different ways that you can apply workflows to your Confluence pages. If you're new to workflows and considering trying it out, you can get a free 30 day trial on the Atlassian Marketplace by following the link in the video description below. And just remember, we're here to help you get the most out of workflows. So if you want to learn more about the features or any other parts of the product, be sure to check out our user guides by following the link shown on screen. Or if you have any questions, just send an email to support at atfox.io and one of our customer support team will be happy to help.